Hey, what's up, buddies? I wanted to do a really quick quick video on how to make a noisy bass or add harmonics to your sine wave. Why am I doing this? I still, every now and then, on music forums and groups, I see people ask tips on how to get a nice sub bass. Well, <clears throat> it's easy. Just play, play a sine wave out of any synth. But the problem, in a way, with uh, sine waves is you don't really get any harmonics. There are ways to get harmonics if you use something else than a sine wave, but just to make the whole thing as difficult for myself as possible and to teach you how easy it is to get harmonics for your sub bass, I'm going to start with the sine wave. So let's take a look at the sine wave here. Well. Sure enough, that is a sine wave. If you have a sub, you can hear it. If you don't, you cannot. And to make people who don't have a sub hear this, uh, our, our sine wave, that is the reason why we want to generate some harmonics. I'm going to present two ways that are my absolute favorites, and they should be good for you too. One, using my... Um, uh, favorite tool for this by FabFilter is Saturn. So what it what does it do? Well, by default, it doesn't do anything. But I can add bands as many bands as I want to and distort and saturate the shit out of these bands. So the first band will be sub. So it will run up to here. And I'll set it to 73 for now, because anything below that is sub. And you don't want to roast your sub. Let's roast everything that's above sub. So just uh, let me do something to this. Let's crank, crank up the drive and enhance low mids and treble and stuff. You're getting something here at least something. If you played higher, yeah. But if you played lower, there's not much. What can I do? Why did I actually close that? I don't know. Let me get, get this pan open. So I could just let me duplicate the Saturn. So it'll do the same thing, but to the first instance of, I mean, to it'll roast the signal that's coming out of the first instance of Saturn. Same settings. Whew. Hear that? Okay, I could mess with this a little bit. Whew. And, oh my god. See how easy it is? I didn't even really mess with the settings. It's just default settings. I cranked up the drive, mess with the tone, and... And there are other settings here as well, like something really crazy. Warm tape is a nice starting point. So this is method one. If you have Saturn, Saturn great. If you don't, well, there are other ways. Um, Ableton Live specific. I'm going to use, um, well, the way I do it is I use the multiband dynamics tool that can use to, you can use it to solo three bands. And I've built a rack for out of that. And uh, that will divide the signal in three parts. This is the one. So I have three chains and it really, it's not doing anything right now. It, it's just passing the signal through. You get lows, mids and highs. And I never do any processing to the lows. I've uh, lows go from zero to 120. So let me just get the saturator and add that to the mid chain, with, which is from 120 to uh, two and a half K. So saturator is your boy. Mid chain, I'm, I'm doing the same thing that I did with uh, Saturn. So I'm getting a little life 
out of this listen on off yeah so i'm just i'm just going to uh duplicate this and it'll get crazy Ooh. so i've got two saturators and this is doing the exact same thing the second instance is roasting the signal that's coming out of the first multiband dynamics chain Ooh. so is this guy an audible uh, bass or what and you got your sub intact there it is and you could do anything to the mids here if, it, if it's too snappy i would just uh get a compressor and let's squash this guy ratio ratio something insane 20 30 attack release slow and i did all of this out of a sine wave using some pretty basic tools so if you want to breathe some life into your sine wave this is the method i hope it helps if you got anything to ask just ask me and I'll holler back.